Hello, 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 and welcome to Agatha Christie's The ABC Murders. <laughs> Comment everything, everything you're doing is in French accent. Ho ho! Alright, let's, uh, let's get started. Click at ego points by hacking the same way as Hercule Poirot. <laughs> I think we can handle that. Is that Hastings? Captain Hastings? What up, Nibbler? How are we doing? Some post for you, Poirot. Mr. Hercule Poirot, you fancy yourself, don't you, at solving mysteries that are too difficult for our poor, thick head British police? Let us see, hmm. Mr. Clever Poirot, just how clever you can be. Perhaps you'll find this nut too hard to crack. <laughs> Translation. For Endeavour on the 21st of the month. Yours extra. A. B. C. Oh, it's some sort of joke. Maybe. But please remind me to inform Chief Inspector Jap. Hmm. What do we got going on here? Oh, so we get to see who he is, eh? We just don't know who he is. Have you seen the 50 trophies? They're in the bonuses. Hope you guys had a good weekend. There's a rainy one around here. I'm already tired of this music. It's here, Poirot. The murder took place in this street. Grim place indeed. Tout à fait, Hastings. The streets of Andover are in a terrible state. Look, there's Chief Inspector Jap. He's talking with a policeman. Let us try not to get our shoes wet. Oh, watch, able to watch for constructions of each time. All right. <laughs> Go and meet Inspector Jap. Oh, uh, click on the zone and scenery to go there. <sighs> when the cursor changes. He pulled in that click. Okay. Maybe I should use a controller for this. Let's try it. Maybe like a telltale game. Um, uh, can we not switch it? That's stupid. Let's turn this bitch back off then. We all good? All right, let's look around here. We got trash cans. We talk don't to dilly-dally, Poirot. Jap will be waiting for us. Don't talk to me about dilly-dally. Uh, that's our objectives. All right. It's our notebook. It's our handy dandy notebook. Little Gray says, Is there a motive for the crime? Here you are making pros of Little Gray Sills work. The aim is to answer the questions he asks himself. Choo! Choo! Ah, rip eardrums. If you're on headphones, probably. Uh, uh, links and clues uh, to do an answer. Uh, hover over the cursor clue. Over, hover the cursor over clues to see their descriptions. Click on clues with the left mouse button to select or deselect them to answer the question. Clues are missing. We ain't got nothing.
I mean, we literally just have to go right up to it, huh? All right. Why can't we talk to him? Oh, we have over here. Two. It's Hastings and Poirot. You missed the nine o'clock train. We took the half past ten. Luckily, the service is good to Andover. So, Chief Inspector, what do we have? The victim is called Alice Asher. She owned this tobacco shop. Ah, it's a wee she was killed yesterday with a blow to the back of the head. At what time? Let me just check. All right, you're going to close. Okay, so we just got to do the observation things. I can. I closed and agree with Herculean Bo's remark. What was his remark? Is Jap being too relaxed? Let us find the clues that prove it. His hat's all tilted up. His dick? Has he got bloodshot eyes? Oh! A little smile on his face. Jap is in a good mood. I bet he thinks he's already caught the culprit. He thinks he did. The last customer to see Mrs. Asher alive left her shop at half past five. The body was found at around eleven in the evening by an officer doing his rounds. The shop door was open. That's what alerted him. So between five thirty and eleven. been taken. A little tobacco, maybe, but you'd hardly murder for a few smokes. There's nothing of any real value in the shop. What type of woman was Miss Zesha? In her fifties. Married, but separated. No children. A husband? Aha, uh -huh. Franz well, Asher, the husband. Alcoholic and violent. It's said that he regularly insulted his wife and threatened to kill her. It is too obvious. A little too easy, don't you think? You like complications, don't you? Well, this time you may be disappointed. I doubt it. But that. May I examine the crime scene? Of course, old chap. I'll be with you in a minute, Poirot. Click an arrow in the bottom right corner of the screen. Display the menu icons and inventory. Inspect the crime scene. That's our next objective. All right, the victim was Alice Asher, about 50 years old. She owned a tobacco shop, married to Franz. She lived alone. She was killed at a tobacco shop by a blow to the back of the head. This fruit and vegetable shop has a front row seat. Therefore, an employee might have noticed something. Okay, so we'll go check that out in a minute. Let's go check out the crime scene. Because that's what they want us to do. They still have moved the body? Alright, let's look around here. The place is unusually tidy for a crime scene. Next papers. No sign. Oh, we don't even have to click on anything. Nothing suggests any sign of a fight. Nope, nothing there. Let's see. Check it till. ABCs. From all angles by holding the and clicking the mouse. 
It's not just any railway. Oops. It's open at the letter A. There are no prints on the book. Hmm. Is... Red liquid is oozing out. Is it blood? What's in it? It's no. strawberries. It's just some strawberries that are losing their juice. They probably come from the fruit and vegetable shop opposite. I guess that means we're going over there, eh? Ooh, look at all these fingerprints. The counter is covered with fingerprints all on top of one another. Unfortunately, it will not be possible to use them. All right, get us out of there. We're working on ego points. All right. Objects hide secrets behind complex mechanisms. It's up to you to decipher them in order to find what they are hiding. Observe the object from all angles by holding the click and moving the mouse. Zoom in by clicking part of the object with the left mouse button. Zoom out, right mouse button. Click on the arrow icon. Some elements may be holding the left click and moving it all together. All right. The teal does not appear to have been touched. I have to check the... Oops. I keep cutting them off. A mechanism has just made a fan click. Five. It would be best to examine the rest of the till. The till is full of money. But there is something strange. Okay. It was something five and two is the last number. Something is hidden underneath. Five's in the middle, eight, five, two. Let's try that. There was a dog and bingo was it? This name? must be the key to the back of the shop. To use an object in inventory, slide it onto an element in the scenery or a person. The objects that you stock in your inventory can also be examined more closely. To do this, click on an object in the inventory. Where's our inventory? A rusty key. Does it say anything on it? No. There are the cigarettes thing? packets in a mess on the shelf. Yeah, we got the key to the door there now. What do we got here? She has a packet of play cigarette next to her hand. Did she drop it when she fell? This poor woman's head is resting in a very even shaped pool of blood. Oh, okay. So it was the blood I was looking at, not the pot. I can't see any other mark on the floor. Hmm, the body is hidden by the counter and is not visible from the tobacco shop store. Many customers might have thought that Mrs. Asher had popped out. Maybe. She just has one wound on the back hey, of her Kendrick, head. Hey, Kendrick, what's going on? There are no other wounds or signs of a struggle.
His things. So, Poirot, any news? So, an ABC guide with no fingerprints, but prints all over the counter. Normally, the tobacco shop does not sell ABC guides. Exact. Mon ami, could you Mon have a word with the neighbors? Some may have seen something. Of course, my friend, I'll do it straight away. I mean, we gotta see what's in the back door, right? No, 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 look at the body. There are cigarettes packets in a mess on the shelf. All right, come on. The door is locked. Plus nine ego points. Put on the bed. Something on the pillow? Blood. Did Alice Asher suffer from nosebleeds? I mean, it's possible. She's got blood on her pillow, blood on her Kleenex. An inscription in German. Souvenir of our honeymoon in the Black Forest. To my Alice forever, Franz Asher. The Ashers were a lovely couple when they were young. Yeah. Not anymore, I guess, eh? What's in the box? What a strange box. It looks like you have to slide the slats of wood to open it. Mm, suddenly puzzling. Can we not do anything at the bottom of here? Hmm, it is blocked. Hmm. Hey, a button. This button appears to activate a mechanism. Oh, I gotta start breathing. I'm gonna die. Oh, there's a good place to start. Is that it? Mm, it is blocked. Good now? Mm, it is blocked. Or is there more than one on a side, I guess? Ah. That should do it. fucking box. Oh, here we go. Let's get open it up all the way. Who is this young You doing all right, man? Kendrick, man? Does it say it on the back? To my dear Aunt Alice, Mary Drower. I think we need to find Mary. Have you found anything? The victim has a niece. 
We must find her. Keep looking around. Ooh, what is that, a mirror? Oh, we got three ego points for checking out the mirror. This interior is very simple. Modest crockery. An old stove, eh? What does that mean? Mrs. Asher lived very simply. I guess that's what it means. Alright, well we got this thing and this tells me this is going to be a puzzle too. Thinking. Such a pretty decoration should be at the center of the motif to respect the symmetry. Well, that doesn't work. Bring it back. Okay, so we can't move that center one, so we gotta make it line up there. Sound as if something wasn't locked. Neil home. That's what it's up. Poirot. Alright, what are these things? Can we go back to this? These drawings appear to be attached to the chest of drawers. They won't move. Alright, what is that? Uh... These drawings oh, appear to be attached. White bird. Okay. Hmm, it is blocked. We look underneath it? Of course not. That one was upside down, wasn't it? I don't remember which way that one was. No, don't quit. Its head was to the left. These drawings appear. Yeah, they don't move. They don't move, Poro. It's already in the right spot, right? And he's looking up. Hey, only five points? That's kind of fucked up. Medicine. Kind of Laudanum-based cough medicine, Mrs. Hasher, and Dover Morley Laboratory, London. 
It's strange to find such an elaborate medicine from a leading London laboratory in the home of such a modest woman. What else is in here? I like how they force you to flip stuff over. Like, from fun. Mr. Adam Flint, Royal Bank, Eastfield Road, Andover. To Mrs. Alice Asher, 5 Bishops Road, Andover. Dear Mrs. Asher, Further to your request of 12 February 1935, I have informed my superiors of your wish to apply for a loan to acquire the lease of the shop you rent from Mr. Fairfax. Despite the seriousness of your case, I regret to inform you that your request has been denied. The amount of your personal contribution, £11, <gasps> is not oh, high enough me. and represents too small a part of the final transaction. I remain at your disposal for any questions. Adam Flint. So she was trying to buy the shop. Mrs. Asher's meager savings were not enough for her to own the tobacco shop, but will largely cover her funeral costs. Well, that's something to be... Let uh, us now try and get our brain cells to work. Did he say gray cells or brain cells? Sounds like he said brain cells. Is there a motive for the crime? No railway guide for the sale of tobacco shop. No object of value for sale. The body was found about 11. Is this wrong? How do we explain the presence of the ABC guide on the counter? Well, yeah, the letter summoned the nuts in the Andover murder. No fingerprints on the guide, and it's not for sale. Murderer deliberately left behind this ABC as a signature. The absence of fingerprints and the fact that it is open at letter A for Andover leaves little doubt. You got some more? Who was she killed on sight? Pull of blood in your head kind of gives it away. Yeah, that was pretty simple. Mrs. Asher was killed here. The absence of marks in the shop and the regular shape of the blood stains indicated beyond a doubt. Good work, Poirot. What's the motive? Ah, that makes sense. Theft was not the motive. All right. The motive is definitely not financial gain. There is no sign of a struggle, and the till has not been forced or emptied. I think I've looked everywhere here. Let us see if I can find any more information in the shop's surroundings. All right, that means we're going to the fruit stand. Because we got some fresh strawberries. I guess they're not fresh anymore. Some object inventory can be modified. Do I have anything in my inventory? I don't even have anything. She's the niece. Niece and the aunt. Oh, so somebody's open. Pence of letters, <coughs> lovely large letters, four pence only. A bottle of poor quality vinegar. The smell could awaken the dead. Alright, nothing there. Let's look at it first. 
This woman appears to be a smoker. Full ashtray. Box of matches. And a cigarette. That was easy. She's a big smoker. She must have been a customer at the tobacco shop. Oh, I didn't even think about that. Good work, Perot. Oh, uh, Nancy Bodley. All right. The strawberries are not fresh. How much are your lettuce, please? A lettuce? That'll be five pence, kind sir. Didn't she just say four pence? And what if I take two? Well, two are ten pence, so what do you want? Nothing, thank you. They do not look very fresh. Did you know Alice Asher well? And for starters, who are you? I'm Hercule Poirot. Okay, so she can do math. You're foreign, that's for sure, with your accent and your odd way about you. And you'll hear about Alice's murder, I suppose. Well, I've nothing to say to you. Did you speak to the victim yesterday? No, I never saw her. Asked nicely to cooperate, accuse her of making fun of you. Please nice try and help me, madame. Why should I help you? For your beautiful moustache? Well, you know what? You should. <laughs> Come on, move along now. You're scaring away my customers. Please, do not be ridiculous. Did she drop him or did she go get him? One thing is certain. You are lying. So I'm a liar, am I? Get away from my stall! Rustic confessional. Alright, let's try that again. Oh, you again? Oh, did we fuck that up? Oh, look at the mouse. Alright, we fucked that up. But I don't, we didn't know if she came or went. Where are we going here? Poirot? Strawberries! Six pence a pound! Hey, Poirot! Is the greengrocer causing trouble? I'll sort her out. No, please leave her, Chief Inspector. I'll get her to talk later. Okay, so we're I not done with the her. victim's niece. She's waiting for you in the back of the shop. Thank you, mon ami. I'll question her. No, we can't do any of those yet. She's in the back of the shop. Is that what he said? Jap had the body removed out of respect for the victim's niece. His attention is commendable. She's in her sobbing. Is her grief sincere? Check the eyes. Clenched fists. Okay, we had to look at that certain spot to look at her clothes. She appears to be very upset. She's dressed in mourning. She looks for Gile. For Gile? Well, let's talk to her. <laughs> Stop crying! <laughs> You were very fond of your aunt, am I right? She was the only family I had since my mother died.
If you are her only relative, you will be the only one who inherits. Sir, my aunt was poor. And in any For case, I'm not interested in any legacy. <laughs> <laughs> My apologies. We're good. I see that you mean what you say. <laughs> yeah, she was your aunt afraid of her husband? He shouted a lot, but she wasn't afraid of him. Why, he used to slink away when she turned on him. He was afraid of her, if you like. Was she okay? Did you haunt enjoy good airs? She had a bad throat, but she was well cared for by a doctor in London. Does Franz Asher work? All he's done for years is drink and gamble, but he used to be a very good cabinet maker. What does he live on? My aunt used to give him five shillings a week. Hmm. Yeah, his friend forced her to give him money. That's the aunt had a reason to help her husband. Yeah, Why nice did she time. support such a good for nothing? He was her husband. She couldn't leave him with nothing. I understand. You have been of great assistance, mademoiselle. Mademoiselle. All right. Please take this young lady home. My pleasure. Well, this Franz Asher does not seem to be quite so dangerous as Jeff says. And since Alice Asher gave him money regularly, it was not in his interest to kill her. Yeah, I was just thinking that. There's no reason for him to kill him. Hey, some more water. Be right back. All right. Yeah, we don't know either of those things. All right, it was only family. Franz is violent. He was afraid of the wife. And she was paying. Find Franz. Who's this dude? The Franz? We have to wait for him to sleep it off. He's all yours, Poro. There are a few things I need to check. That must be some way of sobbing him up. I wonder what his wife used to do. He must have scared the customers away. We have some info on Franz. Cabin maker. Doesn't work. He's a drunk. Look at what Franz dropped. A box of new stockings. It's Alice Asher's notebook. Ah, that's interesting. It probably contains information about our possible debtors and creditors. Let's flip it over. Bodley. The fruit seller has debts too. She will probably be more cooperative thanks to this piece of information. Mary Drower was telling the truth. Mrs. Asher regularly gave money to her alcoholic husband. That's everything, eh? Let's 
Sober up front. So with some strawberries. There are cigarettes packets. He's not in any condition to be questioned. I have to find a way to sober him up. Hmm. Nothing suggests any sign of a fight. The strawberries? Only thing I can think of. Red liquid is oozing out. Did we miss something? Yeah, it's just a brown bag. No, it's. This is the only one that let us stay here, though. Every other one just said, it's "Hey." It's not just any red. It's open at the letter A. I think that's like alcohol, no though, isn't it? That wouldn't sober him up. That would make it worse. I thought of that. Just didn't verbalize it out loud. Let's go ch give it a whirl. Let's see what happens. Medicine. Laudanum based cough medicine, Mrs. Hasher, and Dover Molly Laboratory, London. It's strange to find such an elaborate medicine from a leading London laboratory in the home of such a modest woman. Is there some kind of fruit that'll sober his ass up? I don't think there's anything in here. We get more points for checking ourselves out again. Mrs. Asher lived very simply. See, that front counter is strange, though, because it let us stay there. Everything else is just kind of kicking us out as soon as we look at it. Let's see what the fruit stand lady has. The vinegar, maybe. A bottle of poor quality vinegar. The That's smell like smelling could awaken salt the dead. Similar. I mean, not really, but. A bottle of poor. A bottle of poor quality. I want the vinegar. Give me the fucking vinegar. Your fruit is rotten. What? A foreigner dares to say that? According to the victim's account book, you owed her ten pounds for tobacco and magazines. That's a lie. She owed me one pound. I swear. Now, please be so kind as to explain this. Look at my account book. Alice owed me eleven pounds for fruit and vegetables. I may have had a slate at her shop, but she had one at mine. She mm. owed me one pound. And that reminds me I have to get it back from her niece. That is quite enough. Your account book has saved you. But I might ask Chief Inspector Jap to throw you in the cells for one or two nights while he checks your entries. Do you want to go to prison? Prison? Now that's not fair. I haven't done nothing. Get her, Hercule. In that case, I am counting on your full collaboration. Yes, sir. Of course, sir. Listen, I didn't kill Alice, I swear. But it's true that I did go to the shop yesterday. Yeah, you dropped the shop. At what out. time? Six o'clock. She left me a note saying she wanted some strawberries if I got some. I received them late, about six. So I took them over to her. 
But you did not see her. She wasn't in the shop, so I just put the strawberries she on the counter, the counter and left. Did you see anything unusual in the shop? No. Well, maybe one thing. There was a railway guide on the counter. Alice didn't sell them. Maybe it's the customer who left it there. You are the murderer. I thought Alice had just gone to get her medicine from her room and that she'd be straight back. You mentioned medicine. Something for her cough. She used to take it a lot. Who do you think killed her? France. Her scoundrel of her husband. He was always after her for something. Well, he's a foreigner. Uh, sorry, sir. What I mean is he's German. That's even worse. Did you see Franz Asher enter the, the German shop late yesterday afternoon? Well, no. But at that time of the day, the streets are packed, and I have better things to do than watch her shop. Wow. Oh, now we can just take the vinegar? I'll just borrow your bottle a moment. Take it. It's what Alice used to sober up her husband. But try not to empty the bottle. Yeah, there we go. Let us now try and get our brand cells to work. Uh... There we go. Between five thirty and six. No. Why isn't this right? Body was found at 11. Seen live at 530. Uh. I don't understand why it's not between 5.30 and 6. Is it flashing because it's wrong? Now I was lashing. Okay. So we try it with that one. Okay, that... Oh, Jesus fucking Christ. Mm 
It was too simple. Yeah, we don't know what she was doing yet. Let's go wake up this drunk dude. Franz, yeah. Mount Vermont. Didn't mean to do that. You gonna make them drink it? Or are they just make them smell it? No, just smell it. She said don't use all of it. Les amis. I can say without a doubt that poor Mrs. Asher was killed between half past five and six. Killed when the street was packed with people. That's rather bold. I've been talking to the neighbors and... No one's seen anything? Or rather it's anything and everything. Am I wrong? <sighs> no. No. Yeah. We must grill this villain Asher before he falls asleep again. Take a peek at him. This man is in rather a bad state. His, his face is all fucked up. That was easy. He has ass This man has been fighting and he smells of alcohol. Him. Care a for a cigarette, monsieur? What's that? Scented cigarettes? No thanks. Bien. I was trying to be friendly, but you are quite right. Let us get down to business. You threatened to kill your wife, and now she's dead. So what? You shouldn't take things so seriously, sir. Nothing but empty <laughs> threats. We didn't get on all that badly. He doesn't so, sound German. It seems we're going so well with your wife. Why did you not live with her? She was the one that left. Nothing to do with me, sir. Ah, women are flighty creatures. Did she run away with another man? Flighty? You talk funny. One thing for sure, if my wife was seeing another man, I'd have given her a good beating. Interesting. Hmm. And what were you doing yesterday at the end of the afternoon? Can't recall. I mean, it's been you have been time. drinking again. <laughs> the occasional slap, sir. That's all. And you cannot even remember how you ripped the coat. I got it stuck in a door. Make fun of him for being beaten up. Asha, look me in the eye and tell me that you were in a fight. I'm looking. I'm looking. No, I wasn't in a fight. You are right. Looking at the state of you, you did not defend yourself. So someone gave you a good beating. A a beating? Wife. No way. All right, he tore my coat and gave me a black eye. You see the state of him. Very interesting. Who is the other that you struck? Probably best if I tell you everything. Yeah, maybe. Yesterday afternoon, I met Roderick Tanner. We'd bet on a dog fight together. An illegal bet, naturally. Yes, sir. Our dog won. Roderick got the money, but he refused to give me my share. And you thought about it. What time was this? In the evening, about six, I think. We were on the other side of town. You see, I couldn't have killed my wife. Yeah. I didn't think he did. No, I mean, Let us we saw him and get our brain cells to work. 
What was Mrs. Asher doing when she was killed? Packets in a muddle on the shelf. She was probably grabbing a pack of cigarettes. That was easy. Well, we're running out of clues, so. The murderer probably pretended to be a customer. He hit the shopkeeper from behind as he turned around to serve him. Usher's alibi appears to be confirmed. All the same, I'm going to call and check that he did have a fight with this tanner on the afternoon of the murder. You can never trust this sort of chap. One thing is certain, Asher was a ruffian who used to beat his wife. But he's not very educated. It certainly was not him who wrote the letter signed ABC. Let's resume these things. Have we even told we know the, the murderer chief pretended inspector to be Jap a customer. about that yet? He did not kill her for money, that appears to be certain. I agree with you on that point. And the murderer left an ABC guide as a signature. Therefore, it's likely he wrote the letter. Indeed, but that doesn't explain why and how he did it. You are quite right. Why he did it is a mystery. But as for how he did it, we do know enough to try and reconstruct the events. Reconstruction! Okay, so the events the killer may have executed. Okay. The killer enters the shop. Mrs. Asher turns around to greet her customer. Oh, she looks like a nice lady. He asked for her, he hit her from behind. The murderer asks her for some tobacco. She turns her back to him. He seizes the opportunity to strike her. Turn around. He then places the ABC upside down before leaving. Everything appears to match the crime scene, mon cher Hastings. That is exactly what happened. Asher has a strong alibi and we don't have any other suspect. But what was the point of this crime? She had no debts. She gave Franz Asher money regularly. She wasn't owed money. Nobody stood to gain anything. No doubt about it, the murderer is insane. <laughs> mm. And I fear that we had not heard the last of him. I hope you're wrong for once. Yeah, let's go back to London. If we hurry, we should catch the two past seven train. Are you coming? No, unfortunately, I have to talk with Andover police. See you soon, then. Are you coming, Hastings? Captain Let's go Hastings. home. There's nothing for us here. Right, I think it's a good place for us to stop. We'll see what happens here, though. Well, do you have any idea about the killer's identity? Hmm. The crime was committed by a man of medium height, with red hair and suspicious eyes. He has a slight limp on the right hair. foot, and a wart just below his shoulder blade. Poirot! Mon ami, what do you want? You fix upon me a look of dog-like devotion and demand of me a pronouncement a la Sherlock Holmes. Hmm. Now for the truth. I do not know what the murderer looks like, nor where he lives, nor how to set hands upon him. What shall we do, then? Nothing. Nothing? Do not be so impatient, Hastings. The killer will manifest himself soon enough. He wants another body. I thought I heard the postman. Maybe there's some news. I would go and see. All right, we got the mustache. I think that saves it. All right, guys, drop a like if you haven't already. Drop a sub if you're new. I am out of here, mon ami.